Hey guys, this is Greg again. I want to do a review for you of the uh, the Triton Audio Fethead Broadcast. This little device here, it's tiny. The Triton Audio Fethead Broadcast features a low noise Class A JFET amplifier, a rugged enclosure, 27 decibels of amplification, internal power supply filtering, a low impedance output buffer, high voltage protection, reverse polarity protection, and it's supposed to work on all types of microphones because it passes phantom power. Uh, so you can use it with dynamics and condensers. It shouldn't be a problem. All right, let's get to the unboxing. Here is the Fethead Audio, uh, Fethead broadcast from Triton Audio. Let's open the box to see what's inside. Ta -da! All right, so we've got the uh, paper um, manual. Is that what this is? Yeah. Must be a manual. Paper manual is on top of the unit, and when we take that off, we expose the contents underneath, and inside the manual, uh, what do we got here? Um, they talk about, uh, thank you for buying this Triton Audio product. We try to uh, create innovative audio products which excel in design and blah, 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 blah. TritonAudio.com, stay tuned for more stuff. Okay, the good stuff, specifications. Uh, it's a Class A JFET amplifier, low impedance output buffer, blah, 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 blah. 48 volt fan power, can be used anywhere, fan power is available. Okay, and um, that's pretty cool, so I guess we'll just put that uh, put that down and take a look at what's inside the box. Uh, there's two pieces of uh, foam here. Let's take those little small pieces out and expose. Oh, hey, there is the magic device. The Triton Audio Fethead Broadcast in its amazing glory in a plastic bag and everything. Um, I've been waiting for so long to try this out. I'm so excited. All right, so here's the unit itself. Um, it's kind of shiny. We do have on the sides here Neutrik connectors, authentic Neutrik connectors, which is kind of cool. I'm very happy to see that. We got a uh, locking connector on the other side as well, so mm, that is pretty nice. All in its Neutrix glory. Let's see if I can get that nice and close so you guys can see it here. <clears throat> but yeah, anyways, um, Fethead Broadcast Inline Mic Pre. And then let's see what else is. Maybe there's something else in here. No. Uh, that is the end of the box. Okay, I'm done. Let's check this out. With the Fethead broadcast in your signal chain, I was able to get uh, 24.6 decibels of amplification. So it's less than 27, which is what's posted in their manuals, uh, and more than 23, which is what's posted online. Don't know why there's some discrepancy there, but I got 24.6, so it's right in between. I thought that was pretty decent. Anyways, I was able to measure the noise performance, which is not listed in the specifications of the Fethead broadcast, and I got it to um, 5.4 decibels of noise is added to your signal when you put this in. Um, that's a significant amount, and it's so bad that I would say do not use it. Just go straight into a low noise mic pre. Check the EIN to make sure that it's low but it's probably going to be lower than this unless you're using a portable recorder. Test. One, two, three, four. Test. One, two, three, four. Test. One, two, three, four. Test one, two, three, four. As far as noise goes, um, didn't help out in the studio, but I did get a little bit better noise performance when I plugged it into uh, uh, our Tascam uh, Tascam DR40 um, because that has super super noisy mic pre's in it, and so this was able to help out just a little bit. It's really, really susceptible to GSM noise, cell phone noise. I mean, I was like eight feet away and I started noticing it and I'm like, what the hell is that noise? I usually never have any issue with this stuff. Well, 
Uh, yeah, it's pretty susceptible to it. I'm not sure if it's because they just didn't shield the internal components very well, but... One thing to point out, in the paper manual that comes with the unit, it talks about uh, the impedance in being 680 ohms. I wasn't able to measure it to verify if that was input or output, just mislabeled, but um, something to point out, it just was something that they didn't post on the website and didn't post on the online manual. Only comes in the paper manual you get when you buy the unit. I got some um, harmonic distortion. Um, it wasn't terrible with it in, but it was noticeable, uh, and I was able to measure it. You can see on the graph here. And you know, the weirdest thing is, I used this the first day, I dropped it on the carpet, and I got this little gash on the side. And it's like the, the fingernail polish came out. I'm just like, what is this? This is shenaniganry. Uh, and I'm not happy. Overall, I give this unit a, a thumbs down. Um, I'm gonna see if I can get my hands on a cloud lifter to see if it's any better, but my guess is that uh, it won't be. Hey guys, well thanks for watching my review on the Triton Audio Fethead Broadcast Edition. Um, I wanna do some more uh, audio reviews in the future. I've got some Mackie Blackbirds, uh, Mackie Blackbird audio interfaces I wanna do a review on. So stay tuned in the next few weeks for those. Anyways, I will see you later.